Uh, let's create a new folder in our uh, desktop. Uh, let's give it a name. Zig. Let's drag this folder into our Visual Studio Code. And uh, let's add uh, an extension for Zig language. Let's click this extensions. And uh, in this search bar, let's search Zig. We will choose the second one, this Zig language extensions, and uh, click this install. After installing, let's back uh, to our folder. In this Zig folder, let's open a new terminal in our Visual Studio Code. In terminal, let's run Zig init. It will generate a Zig project for us in this Zig folder. Let's go to this src folder main.zig file. Let's remove its test and also remove this code in this main function. In this main function, let's create a variable, give it a name std out equal to std da io da get standard out da writer. Then let's add the try keyword. Then we will call print method on this std out. First is a format string. Let's write a hello. And let's add a placeholder curly brackets. In this curly brackets, we will add a s. Then arguments. In this arguments is a da curly brackets. In this curly brackets, we will add a value like a word. This value in this curly brackets will replace this placeholder. In terminal, we need to first change the directory to this src folder. So let's run cd src. Then let's run zig run main da zig press enter. So you can see it will print out a hello world. This is how we set up a Visual Studio Code for zig and print out a hello world. Hope to see you next time.